Hello everyone, what's up? This is Douglas 5005. Today we're gonna build a broadcast machine. Uh, we've come up with this idea because on our, on our server, the broadcast wasn't really working and the plugin we had wasn't working at all. Then we just brought this idea up. Uh, let's start it. First of all, we're gonna need these items. Uh, starting from the left, we have the normal redstone, we have redstone repeaters, redstone torches. Then here we have normal pistons, limi pistons. We have the common block. Uh, for people who doesn't know how to summon the common block, you have to do vanilla servers, the command give, then you type your player name, and the, and the block number 137. It's very important to remember the block is 137. The same is for the bucket servers. But instead of doing give player, you just do slash i137. After that, we're going to use some ordinary items like buttons, signs, and random blocks, just because we love code. All right. So the first thing we're going to make is a binary timer. We got this idea from Silver Creeper. Uh, the link to his channel is going to be in the description. It's a pretty cool one. Make sure to click. Uh, to make it, we start placing stick a pistons. Skip one, skip one, skip one, skip one. There we go. This is enough. I'm gonna take away two because we want a fast timer just to make this example. Here, uh, we're gonna place blocks up here. Of course, uh, if you are gonna do it on your server. You're gonna have, you're gonna prefer to place much, many more uh, slimy, slimy pistons because it makes it the broadcast less often. The, the more you place, the less often the broadcast, uh, the broadcast says stuff to the server. So I think this is enough. Okay. Repeaters. Features here. All the repeaters may be facing the same way, and all of them that need to have one tick. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna wire this to a normal clock. Th this is the easiest clock, clock you can make. It's like this you place one this way. I'm, I'm actually gonna place two because I don't want it to be too fast, and two this way. Call them on four ticks. Don't want it that fast. Place it like this. This is the most basic clock you can make. Okay. Now we're gonna we are gonna insert one tick in, inside the clock just to start the just to start. For that we're gonna do this. We place two blocks, place a torch, a redstone wire and place a torch on the other end, like this. It's gonna start working. Toop, 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 perfect. Take this away. And now we just connect the wire and the bigger timer is gonna start working, like this. Every time the pistons are gonna be going up and down, up, up and down. So we just have to hook it to a T flip flop. Now, how to make a T flip flop? It's like this. Let's place two blocks here, break one, place another, another, another. We're gonna break the four on the ground, and we're gonna be placing in the counterclockwise way. Place one here, place one, here, place one here, and the last. Last one here. Now we're gonna be place torches inside and a random block. It may be anything that's not transparent, maybe grass, wool, anything. Up here we're gonna place redstone wire on the four blocks, and we're gonna place a torch above every one of the pistons. 
can see that pistons are kind of moving. So every time redstone receives the signal or anything, uh, let me place a button here. It's gonna toggle. You see the block moving that way. Now it's gonna move again. And if you press it one more time, it moves back to the original position. What we want with this is making four different broadcasts. Each one will be will be activated with signals. Um, let me, I don't want this to cause interference. One second. There we go. Okay, so we here was placed a repeater facing the opposite direction of the T flip flop on the side of every piston. This is gonna be making the redstone not interfere with them. And then we just make the signal go uh, to the direction we are gonna be placing the blocks 137, the command blocks. Now we want to what we are gonna do is hook this timer to the T flip flop. For that, we're gonna raise one block. Uh, um, like this. Nope. Like this. Connect this way. Now, since we just have one pulse going over there, we're gonna need to make this uh, a little bit longer, so we're placing a repeater on level four. This is, level 4 is long enough for the TP flip flop to work. See, it's working. Nice, awesome. Now what we're gonna do is place the common blocks here. Every time a common block receives a signal, it's gonna... What is gonna be written in, the, in every common block? I'm gonna make, uh, for example, on this one, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna write slash broadcast uh, uh, Second one, I will be saying slash broadcast uh, the server's tree uh, or anything like that, and the same for the other two. Uh, pretty much done. What you were, what will we want to do if you have a vanilla server is instead of using broad slash broadcast, you actually are gonna do slash say, because vanilla servers don't have the essentials plugin, and it's kind of Kind of messed up if you try to use other commands. Now that we made it, let's test it. Uh, let me set the time today first. Okay. Uh, these are the commands we we have inserted in this. Right. Now let me turn it on again. And. Yep, it's working. Now, since it's just a test, we can we can place a button here and press it multiple times. This is also gonna trigger. It's gonna say test two, test, and test four. Awesome. Now, you may be asking, what do I do to turn it off? Sometimes you don't want it all to be broadcasting all the time on your server. So to turn it off, you just pick a lever, place here, and turn it on. This is going to broadcast once more, and it, then it's going to stop. Another alternative is breaking this redstone here. It will stop the timer to trigger the binary timer, and it's going to stop until you place the redstone back. Okay, uh, so that's all, everyone. Uh, I hope you all have liked it. Thanks for watching. If you really liked it, click like. If you really, really, really liked it, subscribe and add to your favorite. Uh, that was nice. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be here more often. See you all.